Let me tell you, I could not stop smelling. Why can't I say, why am I saying a card? Oh, these smells will definitely set the mood. Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today in Newcastle, it is starting to get dark, so the lightning is a bit all over the place, as it normally is. You know me. So today I'm going to take you through the new massage bar collection that launched on Valentine. Well, launched last week, was it, for Valentine's? For the Valentine's Day drop? You know what? It, I'm still in that void from, from, from Christmas. Um, so I know you guys have been waiting for it. I'm also going to include the three magnesium massage bars that came out just before it. Um, just so that we can, you've got everything there in, in your mind's eye if anything kind of tickles your fancy. So there is quite a large collection of massage bars that have dropped uh, onto the website and in stores. Uh, so just, just so you know, not every store will have every single massage bar in. Uh, each store can curate what massage bars they want. There is a core range. The core range is each peach and two's a pair. Joints, massage bar, I'm going to keep saying massage bar even though we're talking about massage bars. Sleep, therapy, the true romance and turmeric latte. So they are the core range that's always going to be there and then stores can curate what other massage bars they can have in. So if your store is missing it, you can always check with another local store or you can just grab it online. Let's move on in to the massage bars. So the magnesium range. So we know that there is two salt cubes to go aside the three bars. So the three bars you've got before, after and deep sleep. So they are kind of in tandem with each other. I just want to preface that this is probably going to be a long video, so get a cup of tea and a snack, come back, pause, and all that jazz. Um, because I'm going to talk a lot just about the magnesium range. Uh, I've got my phone here just with some notes from the website. So Helen, one of the founders, worked alongside um, a lovely lady called Nikki and they came together and they made the magnesium range. Helen is super fit, she's like into her running, um, 93,000 mile shower jelly was invented by her, I think it was the same smell as Wiggy, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, and it was fantastic to use after exercise because it was so warming and stimulating uh, on the body, especially if you kind of froze it or put it in the freezer before you went in the fridge before you went in the fridge, before you went into the shower or the bath and then had a hot shower with that cold but then also the ingredients were stimulating. It was super therapeutic on achy muscles. So what she found um, when her and Nikki were kind of collaborating and making all these bars and she was testing them out, she found that there was a distinct difference um, in her kind of recovery from exercise, whether that be like muscle repair, aches and pains and all that jazz, when she used the magnesium based uh, massage bars and salt cube bath bombs. So if you are a person who does a lot of exercise, fitness or genuinely, generally just suffers from aches and pains, these magnesium bars might, and bath bombs might be something really cool for you to try. So the bath bombs, uh, you've got sea salt, water soother and you've got deep sleep. So your sea salt uh, soother is quite um, fresh. I, I try and stay away from like genders but it is a bit more of like a masculine smell. It's it's like fresh, but like a little bit masculine. And then obviously your deep sleep is the same smell as the deep sleep bath bomb in the muslin cloth. So it's lavender and chamomile. So it's very heady and very relaxing, but it's full of sea Epsom salts and it's got that magnesium in. So it's again, if you're wanting a hot soap with lots of salts in to soothe the muscles and soften the skin, those cubes are great. So I'm just gonna get my phone out now. So you've got two massage bars called before and after. As the name says, you use one before and you use one after. So we have the before massage bar. It's kind of like a greeny colour. Um, and I like the texture of both the before and the after with these kind of like hexagony kind of spikes. And actually, I've got the after just here, which I'm going to show you in a second. They're £10 each for all the magnesium bath bombs at... at all the magnesium uh, massage bars. Let's have a look down at the ingredients. So the ingredients, you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, zeolite clay, fair trade shea butter, plantain decoction, organic acarvo oil, acarvo? Organic acarvo? 
why can't I say, why am I saying a cardo? Organic avocado oil, extra virgin coconut oil, peppermint oil, ylang ylang oil, winter green oil, butchu oil, bergamot oil, caffeine powder, and a little bit of water. So, like I was saying before, it's kind of designed, I think, a little bit with like fitness in mind, the before and after, but these are great for aches and pains. So if you've tried wiki and you've tried joints, but maybe the smells aren't for you, or you don't like the little bits of the, the wiki magic muscles, and you want something different to try, these could be great for you. So with before, it is best to apply this before you maybe you do some sort of exercise. So it's part of your warm up, you know, you're getting your body all limbered up, ready for your exercise. Warm this between your hands, like I'll, sh I'll do a little massage bar demo anyway, but warm this between your hands and apply to those areas that you're going to need it the most. So it's kind of, research has kind of shown that about 70% of UK adults are magnesium deficient and magnesium is used in 300 functions of the body and it's really good for the brain, it's really good for energy levels, it's really good for sleeping, that's why there's like lots of lavender stuff as well. So, you know, you can get you can you can get magnesium from eating things like nuts, lentils, beans, um, but obviously if you want to use something topically which absorbs into the skin, the massage bars and the bath bombs are really good. So putting this into your skin beforehand, you've got the peppermint and spearmint oils that are going to really stimulate the skin. Um, you've got obviously the moisture aspects as well. Things like your your kind of your avocado oil and plantain decoction, it'll just help with a little bit of against any friction and things like that. It's got caffeine powder, um, and as well as the the, the minty kind of uh, menthol. So again, really stimulating. Caffeine powder is also really good for like things like cellulite. Um, so you you've, there was caffeine in rump. Um, uh, it's kind of uh, anti-chafe cream and um, so definitely if you're wanting something to help with that that might be something really good as well and um, there's also something called winter green oil which I've never heard of before and Nikki who is obviously collaborated in, in working on these massage bars and, and, and range and um, she worked with a Mai Tai boxer and coach and they used like a Thai oil before pre pre kind of the pre match routine and the wintergreen is really anti inflammatory um so again perfect for limbering up before exercise so just wanted to let, let you know about that and i would say that um the if you if you if you're quite smell uh, based it's kind of herbal and minty it's it's not too strong it has a minty undertone with a little kind of herbal note to it they the, from what i've seen on the, on the training notes it was like a camphorous um sort of a herbal note to it so that is before. So now you have done your exercise. You have hit your personal best. You have smashed your goal. So whether that is you're training for the Great North Run, you know, the London Marathon, any kind of marathon around your way, 10K, or just like smashing the gin, if you, you know, try and get and beat your New Year's resolution, this bar after is fab for recovery. So I've actually used this last night because I felt a bit achy. It's Smells like Outback Mate, so, you know, like eucalyptus -y smell. So Outback Mate's that lovely, refreshing soap. And when you first use this, you can really feel the pressure of the, the little knob jewels on here. And it's really, a really pleasant smell. So they've all got magnesium, if I haven't already said. <laughs> so what you've got in here, you've got, I just want to say as well, you've got 122 milligrams of magnesium per five grams of weight. Um, in a bar. So I think how much the bars weigh? I, uh, 65 grams. So someone who's really good at maths, you can work that out. In here, the ingredients are fair trade organic cocoa butter, calamine powder, fair trade shea butter, arnica flour, and devil's claw root decoction, which I always think it must look like that. Um, borage oil, organic leafy butter, kalahari melon oil, peppermint oil, witch hazel extract, witch, witch hazel extract, eucalyptus oil, spearmint oil, and a little bit of water. So again, really fresh, minty, um, what they find is when, when they've kind of looked into kind of research and things like that, is that menthol helps aid the absorption of, um, of the magnesium. Obviously it's super stimulating, it dilates the blood vessels so that you get that nice cooling, refreshing feeling, uh, which is why I really like magic crystals or tingle body conditioner on a hot day, because when that wind blows through, oof, you get a nice little chill. 
You've also got that Arnica uh, Flower and Devil Claw Root Decoction. Again, really anti-inflammatory. Um, I don't know if anybody has heard of Arnica. Um, my mom gave me some uh, Arnica gel once because it's really good for helping with bruising. Arnica gel, that is. Um, so obviously, super anti-inflammatory, which again, if you get like lactic acid buildup, tension, tightness, DOMS, which I... Um, I'll put the, the what that breaks down to. So, you know, people who do like maybe weightlifting might get that a lot as well. Using massage along with like a stimulating massage bar is gonna really, really help. And it smells so good. I love Outback Made. So you've got that there for 10 pounds as well. And then the last one we have is Deep Sleep. So I love the design of this with all the zzz all over it. And um, it kind of reminds me of the deep, uh, the deep sleep bath oil that, that they used to have. So this one's like a triple lavender heady bar. So if you've tried maybe a sleep massage bar, which smells like sleepy, and you think, I like this, but I want more, or maybe you think that sleepy is too sweet, you might like this more. So again, it's the same smell as the deep sleep salt cube and the deep sleep bath bomb. Um, it's a more of a herbal lavender, a bit more kind of in the garden sort of a smell. So the ingredients for that is fair trade organic cocoa butter, you've got calamine powder, fair trade shea butter, lavender flower infusion, organic alipi butter, organic cold pressed passion seed oil, lavender oil, chamomile oil, lavender absolute, neroli oil, Oil and water. So all that lavender and the chamomile, super soothing, super relaxing. Um, so if you are wanting to create a relaxing bedtime routine, whether it's for you or for your partner, um, this is a lovely thing to invest in because obviously massage brings people together if you're doing it, if you're sharing it with someone, but also take that time to look after yourself amazing and that lavender smell it's super heady like it's great it's so lovely and what i will say is is that these massage bars melt really well they're lovely and oily. so what i would recommend doing before we move on to all the other massage bars that i've launched is just if you're going to use a massage bar the best thing to do i'm going to take off my uh, my fitbit the best thing to do is to apply this to dry skin um, if you put it on damp skin, the, sometimes the bars can skip, uh, like da -da 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 -da, and it doesn't always feel pleasant because you want that glide. So warm the bar between your hands. The longer you leave it on the skin, the oilier it's going to be. So if you just want to use one of these massage bars, maybe as like a solid version of a body lotion, just use less essentially but then um, you just glide it up and down the skin and like i say the longer you leave it on the more oily it's going to be and then you can take your fingers i don't know how well you can see you can take your fingers and work it in to the skin all the bars that have been launched now could be used as part of a spa treatment at lush and if you haven't had a spa from lush oh my god they're amazing um and i feel like things like after joints wiki um would be really good in the good hour because they're so stimulating and great for kind of working out any aches and pains but mm, my arm smells so good now but that is all the magnesium range they're all 10 pounds um and they're just fab and if you are looking for something for self-care or for a nighttime routine the sleepy or deep sleep re uh, scented ones are perfect for that. I'm gonna put my fit back on before I forget, I'm trying to get my steps in. Okay, so the core range. Just in case anybody hasn't seen the massage bars, they're new to massage bars and things like that. Um, there's normally like a, a selection that are here all year round and then sometimes, you know, in the different seasons, they will stick the odd one in. Like we've had massage bars at Christmas and stuff like that and Valentine's Day. But there's going to be a select range. It's slightly changed now. So Hottie has been discontinued, but there is a similar bar that kind of smells kind of close to it. Not identical, which I'll talk about later. So if you do like the smell of Hottie, you might like this one. Um, so you've got each peach and two's a pair. So if you want... So loads of moisture, you want something really uplifting, something really citrusy, really oily. Each peach and two's a pair is a phenomenal massage bar. So you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, fair trade shea butter, you've got lime oil, Brazilian orange oil, you've got avocado butter, mango butter, red mandarin oil, and grapefruit oil uh, with a little bit of safflower petals in there. 
it is one of my favourite massage bars. Um, I think it was the first massage bar I ever got. It's so beautiful and so uplifting. And if you're wanting like a bit of zip and a bit of pep, um, and you're not a big mint uh, kind of a smell kind of a person, then this would be the one for you. And that is eight pounds. So again, really, really moisturised. If you suffer from aches and pains, obviously Hotly has gone. You've got the magnesium range, which we've talked about, but there is also Joints CBD bar. So it's £10 for this one. And it's the same smell as the uh, 420 bath bomb, the Botanomancy bubble bar, and the 420 perfume. So it's tramp scented. This really heady, earthy, patchouli and cedar wood smell. It's kind of a little bit smoky as well. Um, so if you like those kind of earthy smells, straight away, it's gonna be perfect for you. But if you want that pain relief, it's gonna be, it's gonna really help with that. So you've got fair trade organic uh, cocoa butter, you've got fair trade shea butter, organic castor oil, you've got patchouli oil, pimento berry oil, petit grain oil, ginger oil, sandalwood oil, celery seed oil, cannabidol, canna, cannabidol in hemp seed oil. So joints, obviously is a CBD massage bar and all the other CBD stuff, this, doesn't contain THC. You're not gonna get high off it or anything like that. It's it's all about the, the benefits of what CBD does. And obviously, CBD is used for things like for helping with aches and pains. Um, I have uh, friends and family who have like fibromyalgia and CBD really helps kind of alleviate any pains that they have through fibromyalgia. So, uh, but they don't like to like smoke anything um so this is a um taking cbd and using cbd products has really helped them so if you've not if you're a bit concerned you know you don't, you don't want to do the you know but you want to try helping alleviate any aches and pains again that stimulation and kind of boosting the blood circulation through massage alone will be great but getting the cbd into the skin's fab there is a gift set called uh, CBD, which has the bath bomb, the bubble bar, and the massage bar, and it's all full size. So if you want to give it to as a gift to someone, they do do that. But it's warming, but not too warming. I have this massage bar, and it's in my drawer. I haven't used it all up, I haven't got it with me, but I do have it. And I had a cracking sleep after it. It like knocked me out. Um, it was really good. So again, if you're not a big lavender fan, you might want to try that as something to help with um, sleep and things like that. We have therapy. So I absolutely love therapy. So you've got four little circles here, but one is sticking out. So um, this was designed with pregnancy in mind because it's fantastic for helping with stretch marks. This is a very plumping, very hydrating bar. This is lavender and neroli scented. So it is calming and soothing but then you've got the neroli in there which is super uplifting it's really mood boosting um neroli is scientifically proven to boost serotonin in the brain so if you're having a bit of a down day obviously again that self-care and that taking that time to invest in yourself and looking after yourself is great but that fragrance is so fab and i've never had a therapy massage bar until I had my good hour. I thought I was really tempted to get hotty because I really like the smell of hotty. But I thought, Do you know what it is? I wasn't really relaxing. And when the girl just like swiped over, I just remember she went like this like a couple of times over my chest. And I just, this is a lot subtler uh, in comparison to some of the other massage bars in shops and online, right? So I also thought, oh, it's a nice smell. And then kind of just poo-pooed it for each peach, because I love each peach. But when she glided it across my skin, I got hit with that smell of lavender and neroli. And I just remember lying there and being like, oh yeah, that's nice. That's really good. And so I got one. So neroli also penetrates deeper into the skin, so it's super plumping. So using this whilst you're pregnant will help with the elasticity of the skin um, and keeping it nice and soft and supple. It is a continued use thing, so things like reducing stretch marks, whether you're pregnant, you're weightlifting, maybe you've gained a little bit extra weight, you've lost lots of weight rapidly, it, you know, your body's changing, you know, if you're a teenager and you're growing up and you're getting stretch marks, they're natural, there's nothing wrong with stretch marks, but if you wanted to kind of maybe help reduce any of the redness or just keeping the skin supple as your body is changing it's a lovely one to try and it's a nice packaging free alternative and a lot cheaper than say bio oil um i had bio oil years ago and i was not consistent with it but i do remember it being 
extremely expensive and when I did finish it up I didn't really notice that much but like I say I wasn't that consistent with it so just be consistent with your massage bar it's eight pounds and it is truly just a lovely lovely bar so you've got organic uh, cocoa butter organic shea butter sweet wild orange oil lavender oil and organic neroli oil so it's not as heavy as each peach um, but it is lovely. So if, if you aren't a, a lavender fan, you might want to try each peach instead. Um, and the little logo is um, one in four babies have an outly belly button, which I think is quite cute. The other one you got all year round is sleep. Uh, massage bar. So this is sleepy scented, fair trade organic cocoa butter, shea butter, chamomile water. Uh, you've got marula oil. You've got cornstarch, lavender flowers, extracted in oat kernel oil, benzoin resinoid, lavender oil, tonka absolute, ylang ylang oil, you've got glycerin stearic acid. This is again a really sweet smell. If you've not had sleepy before or twilight, um, you know, you may have had the twilight bath bomb but not realise it's the same smell as sleepy. It's really sweet, it's not too herbal, it's not too like in the garden. So if you like the idea of wanting to be relaxed but you're not a big fan of lavender, just have a smell anyway because it's not always, you know, sometimes people go, oh, lavender's so granny-fied. Have a smell because it, it might change your mind. The sweetness from the tonka is lovely. Um, you've also got the oak kernel oil in there, which is which is fab for again for sensitive skin, and it's lovely and melty and moisturising and great before bed. So again, if maybe if you're not keen on the deep sleep smell, you might like the sleep smell instead. I know too many sleeps. That's all I'm going to say in the names. <laughs> Bit confusing, um, but yeah, it's a nice cozy snuggly smell. You've got True Romance. So True Ma True Romance is actually one of my favourite new massage bars that has come out, and you'll be surprised by the other massage bar that I'm currently really obsessed with because it's not part of the scent family that you'd think that I would be really in love with. But True Romance is £11. It's this beautiful pink bar. You can't miss it. It's in the Lots of Love gift set for Valentine's Day. So if you want to check out my Valentine's Day video, um, I go through everything that's in there, including gifts. But this is a beautiful, fresh, floral smell. It's super familiar. It reminds me of something that Lush has done before, but I can't quite put my finger on it. But you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic shea butter, you've got jasmine absolute, neroli oil, obsmanthus absolute, rose oil, argan oil, rose clay. It is stunning. Let me tell you, I could not stop smelling it when I first seen it in the shop. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's not super oily, so say for example you want a, a different scented body lotion or you're not, you want a massage but you don't like it too oily, give that a try and the smell really lingers on the skin. It is, oh, it's gorgeous and if you're looking for like a nice floral smell, it's it's like a nice flirty floral smell, definitely. The other one is turmeric latte. So we all know about turmeric latte perfume. If you don't, my Christmas video for last Christmas, um, I'll leave that at the end as well. Um, there is a description for turmeric latte in there and it is such a cosy, warm smell. It's very musky and creamy and it's just something about it's very familiar when you smell turmeric latte. You kind of, you, you, like, you know the smell, but you, you can't think what it is. Turmeric latte, I think smells stronger, but very similar to the Tom Ford uh, tobacco vanilla scent. Um, I smell tobacco vanilla uh, because I'd heard so much about it um, a couple months ago, and I just remember thinking, well, that's just turmeric latte, but turmeric latte is stronger. So if you want to save yourself some money, try turmeric latte. Um, but you have fair trade organic cocoa butter, you have organic shea butter, tonka absolute, benzoin resinoid, vanilla absolute, and it's nine pounds. Um, and I have to say, I really love all the embossing on all the massage bars. It's really fun and it really does set them apart. Um, and it just smells so good, really, really lovely. So definitely want to try if you got the perfume at Christmas or you still got a tiny bit of the body spray or if you use power conditioner because it's exactly the same smell as that. So you know how I mentioned about Hottie being discontinued? Um, I've still got some of the Enfluage rolls. Um, we've got one maybe last year and then we've got one uh, just Christmas just gone and I love the hotty smell I love that ginger and black pepper it's really warming and musky and just 
it's it's a sexy smell. Um, well, there's a new massage bar called Atar. This is um, oh I can't I'll put the price up because I can't think off the top of my head. But it's uh, got fair trade organic cocoa butter. It's got organic shea butter, ylang ylang, and cedarwood oil in it. There's something about it. It's not the same, but it's very. It's, it's got a nod to hotty. There's something about it's kind of woody and it's creamy and it's mild. It's not too overpowering. So if you want the scent, um, if you want to scent the skin but you don't want it to be too strong, it's perfect. It's also got gold leaf over it as well. So it's a bit more bougie if you want to gift it as a as a gift. It just smells so good. So next we've got Celebrate Massage Bar. Now I've not smelt this bar in person, um, but Celebrate is a super, super favorite smell of mine. It is a very punchy, uh, kind of tipsy cocktail sort of a smell. So you can get the Celebrate shower gel in the birthday parties. You may know the smell from Golden Wonder bath bomb, Golden Pudding bath bomb from Christmas Just Gone, snow showers, we've got, what else is there? Celebrate body spray. It's a really fresh and uplifting smell. It's a party in a bar. So if you are having this massage, whether it's for yourself or you're sharing, it's going to be super uplifting, maybe nice before and night out to get you ready. But it's got fair trade organic cocoa butter in it, organic shea butter, Brazilian orange oil and lime oil in it. It's very fruity, well, very citrus fruity cocktail and it's super fun and it's going to really pick you up. So if you like each peach but you want a different citrusy bar, you might want to try the celebrate instead and um, but that is going to be eight pounds i think it's yeah it's the same price as each peach i know that loads of people um love coconut and coconut's not normally one for me but the new massage bar coconut drench and it's got like the palm tree on it it's really fun smells so good it literally smells like like you've opened up a coconut and you've drank all the water and you've got the flesh and you're eating it which sounds I know flesh sounds weird but you know coconut flesh and it just smells divine it smells like holidays uh, you can you know that you could smell it you know some it just smells so good it, and I'm not a coconut person um but you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter in there you've got organic shea butter extra virgin coconut oil babasu oil tonka absolute veti vert oil vanilla absolute carrot seed oil organic linseed oil so you can the, the vanilla and the coconut together it's almost it's not as strong as a pina colada but like you know you're kind of getting that holiday cocktail fun vibe and it's just, it's really moisturising. So again, maybe you're not a big lavender fan of therapy or a citrusy fan, but you're wanting to get that hydration into your skin, uh, whether that's just because you've got dry skin or you want to help uh, with any stretch marks, give coconut drench a go. And I know people are going to be absolutely buzzing because there's going to be coconut scented stuff, more coconut scented stuff other than uh, Coco Loco uh, shower oil. So the... Babasu oil is thought to aid um, aid and repair skin. So again, if you've got maybe any kind of um, kind of dryness, it'll just kind of heal that up for you. So another one that I was really excited about when I heard that all these massage bars were coming out was Grass Massage Bar. So this, uh, the shower gel has came out along with some other exciting products, but the they, you're now gonna get, and look, I'm, I'm just, I'm falling over myself. You can now have like a little mini top up routine. You've got your shower gel and now you can finish off with some moisture in that smell. And I will say that every bar that has, that has its own scent family is so perfectly spot on. Like it is just the best version of what it could be. So if you love the shower gel, if you love the perfume of grass, you're gonna love the massage bar. It is absolute perfection. Once I finish off some of my other massage bars, grass is definitely gonna be one that I'm gonna pick up along with this other one that I, that I think is gonna be really surprising for you guys. Fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic shea butter, sandalwood oil, bergamot oil, neroli oil. If I haven't already said, the coconut drench is 10 pounds and this grass bar is 11 pounds. It literally smells like a warm or a hot summer's day. Someone outside is cutting the lawn, you've opened the window and you've kind of, you've got that scent trickling in. It's like childhood nostalgia of playing out. It's 
fresh and sweet and earthy. There's just something lovely about it. Um, I do talk about this in either my perfume collection video or body spray collection video. I can't quite remember which one, but I'll leave those linked down below if you want to know more about body sprays and perfume. Um, but it's absolutely oh, unreal. I love the grass smell. I told you this was going to be a long video. <laughs> So you've got, for talking about like um, kind of fun and uplifting smells, so if you like the Celebrate, you might like this one. This is Junk. Junk is a super fruity herbal scent. If you like the idea of Celebrate but you want a big citrusy fan, if you love the comforter but wish it was in like a body lotion, then Junk might be for you. So Junk, it comes in a perfume. It used to be in a body scrub called Scrub, 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 and Bath oh, ba Bomb at Halloween is the same smell if anybody's got any of those around to have a little a little sniff um, it is super fruity it's like black currants but it has this sharp kind of green edge to it and it does actually hold really well in the massage bar when you when you smell it it smells really good it smells nice and strong so again if you didn't want if you have the comforter body spray or you have a comforter bubble bar and you're wanting that little routine um, then this is gonna be the one for you. So you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, you've got organic shea butter, Sicilian lemon oil, green mandarin oil, you've got rosemary oil and sage oil. In the massage bar, it's quite stimulating on the skin. So again, if you're not a big mint fan, um, it's nice and stimulating on the skin, getting that blood pumping around. Um, but yes, it is absolutely delicious. And if you like the comfort and you like blackcurrant smells, this is going to be the one for you to try. And it's eight pounds. I was talking about grass being launched not long ago um, and Karma Creams come back. So if you love Karma Cream, spoiler alert, it's back. Um, there's also a massage bar equivalent and it is divine. Oh my God, it's so good. I know I'm pretty much saying that every massage bar is divine, but the Karma one is so good. And if you are wanting to go plastic free, you want to do some zero waste, you don't have to now have the Karma Cream. You can have the massage bar because they are zero waste. Once you use it all up, it is gone without a trace. So you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic um, shea butter, you've got dark Sumatran patchouli oil, Brazilian orange oil, lavender oil, Siberian fir needle oil, lemongrass oil, and limi oil. It's eight pounds, so super affordable um, on that kind of karma side of things. It is super grounding, heady patchouli, but really fresh from that orange. The orange really lifts it. So if you are wanting something quite hippy dippy or something that really smells like lush the karma is what you want it is oh, absolutely unreal okay one I've got here I haven't used it yet I've got caca all over it but this is Lord of Misrule so Lord of Misrule is now staying all year round and it is a I can't keep saying it. it is a gorgeous massage bar. It smells exactly like the perfume, the bath bomb, Monsters and Aliens Fun, the body spray. It is delicious. It is sweet, it is spicy, it is comforting, it is nostalgic, it is cozy. It's every, it's very autumnal and winter. So if you like to have scents by the season, um, this is quite a nice one for this time of year because of the spice gently warming on the skin, that sweetness and the spiciness for the scent and it being kind of cozy is quite nice when the dark nights are like now rolling in so you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter you have got shea butter black pepper oil that gorgeous dark Sumatra and patchouli oil and vanilla absolute it smells divine <laughs> I've already said that like a million times everything just smells so good um but again if you're wanting something cozy, maybe turmeric latte is a little bit too musky for you, the Lord of Misrule might be there. And also for you guys who love to, um, Lord of Misrule, it is here all year round and you can really layer up that scent with the perfume and the massage bar. One that I haven't tried or smelled is the Power of Touch. So this is fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic shea butter, bergamot oil, neroli oil, orange flower absolute, rosewood oil, sandalwood oil, you've got brew bronco oil, um, I'm wondering, yeah, this is the same smell as orange blossom. So, so uplifting, so citrusy and uplifting. Maybe you aren't a big fan of Celebrate, but you want something that's really gonna boost your mood. Again, I was talking about with therapy um, and also s s deep sleep massage bar. 
if you are having a bit of a down day, getting that neroli on the skin is gonna be, up. it's it's gonna really help lift your mood. And again, taking that time to look after yourself is gonna be fantastic. The neroli oil, again, super plumping and hydrating on the skin. If you've got the orange blossom candle, it's kind of setting the mood, you know, like setting up your room, whether it's the bathroom or your bedroom, and letting the scent just take over the air, take over the airwaves, you know, dim the lights. It's just going to put you uh, or yourself or if you're sharing um, in the mood, and it's just going to be absolutely just just the loveliest experience ever. Um, Lush do do a, a spa treatment. I don't know if every spa does it, but it's a perfume based treatment uh, where you get taken on a scent journey. So if you are really into perfumery and scents, that might be one for you. I can't remember what it's called. This bar, the Power of Touch, is 11 pounds. If I didn't say a lot of material, it's still eight pounds, um, but really, really fantastic for layering up as well with the Orange Blossom perfume. Orange Blossom also shares its scent with, I think there was a, a soap bar a few years ago called, called Snow Cloud, um, Frozen, Bath Bomb, Happy Happy Joy Joy, which is a beautiful hair perfume for your hair. It's a lightweight conditioner, so if you wanna have a smell, go to your shop uh, nearest to you. If they don't have the Orange Blossom perfume in, go have a smell of Happy Happy Joy Joy because it's the same smell. Not many more to go, I promise. So another one that I haven't tried is Purity and Clarity. This is Fair Trade Organic Cocoa Butter, Shea Butter, Bergamot Oil, Litsy Kabeba, and Olibanum Oil. So this is the same smell as Avocado Co-Wash. So really, really kind of Shea Butty and fresh and just lovely and um, a, kind of, a kind of Shea Butty party smell. So again, if you want to try something different to each peach or the Celebrate, and you love avocado co-wash, give this a smell, because uh, I think you're gonna really like it. And again, it's quite fun. Maybe, you know, something to kind of boost your morning, if you like to put body lotions on, things like that. Um, but this is one for you, and it's eight pounds. Now, I've been talking about it all the way through. The massage bar that I smelt, that literally blew my socks off. I couldn't believe how good it smelled, was Sex Bomb Massage Bar. This is, oh my God, it just, they've managed to make this massage bar smell just better than everything that's, that has been sex bomb related. Like, it is so good. It just works so well. So you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic shea butter, jasmine absolute, clary sage oil, and your lang ylang with synthetic musk. It is sweet, it is powdery, it is floral, it is flirty. It's the same smell as the body spray in the bath bomb. My God, could you layer this up? If you didn't know, jasmine is an aphrodisiac, so things like your jasmine, your true romance, if you are wanting to have, you know, a fun night in with your partner for Valentine's Day or whatever, these smells will definitely set the mood. But set, it's just gorgeous and it's so, such a pretty smell. And it's quite a nice summery smell as well. I know we're still in winter, but if you're wanting something a bit more light, that sex bomb is absolutely stunning and it's nine pounds. Now one that I actually do want to try, which I've not smelled, is Tranquil. Um, and this is eight pounds. You've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, organic shea butter, violet leaf absolute, Pakistani rose absolute, bergamot oil, Kananja oil, I'm sorry, I probably said that wrong, almond essential oil. So this is um, Daddio scented. I love anything with violet in. Daddio, curbside violet, um, don't rain on my parade, um, April showers, you know, anything that is violet scent. And I don't think, oh, ooh, 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 uh, bathos bubble bar. I don't think there's enough products in Lush that are lavender scented, um, not lavender, violet scented, blummin' it's cause it's purple. I just wish there was more things. And I think again, once I finish a lot of my bars, Tranquil is gonna be one that I'm gonna try. And I'm actually quite surprised, it's eight pounds, and normally things with violet leaf in is, are quite expensive, because I think it's quite an expensive oil, but it just smells lovely. And it's, oh, there was that um, violet cream bubble bar from Mother's Day. So it's it's gonna smell very much like a violet cream, or oh, proper chocolate treat with all that cocoa butter in. So if you have someone with a, who loves a sweet tooth, who has a sweet tooth, who loves uh, sweetie shop smells, they're gonna probably really like this as well. 
And last but not least, we have Wiki Magic's Muscles. So this is obviously a very popular massage bar. You've got those adukey beans on the top for a bit of added pressure. And it kind of smells a little bit like Christmas. It's really spicy with the cinnamon and peppermint. So you've got a fair trade organic cocoa butter. You've got your, you've got your organic aduki beans, a fair trade shea butter, cinnamon leaf oil, organic jojoba oil, peppermint oil, and extra virgin coconut oil. It's lovely and oily. It's gently warming. It's not like deep heat, but you will feel the warmth coming through the skin. And those aduki beans, when they glide, they will add pressure. Now again, if you don't want the, the aduki beans, because they eventually they will fall out, um, if you don't want the aduki beans, be, uh, a bar with the aduki beans in, go with something like before or after, or the joints massage bar, if you want looking for pain relief, or if you want in stimulation, go for before and after instead of the Wiki Magic muscles, because you've got that menthol in there whilst you're stimulating the skin. I'm, I'm, give, I'm giving the air a massage. <laughs> like that um but yeah it's really stimulating on this on on the skin so for aches and pains it's fantastic um but i know obviously it's got quite a strong cinnamony smell so it's not for everyone so that is all the single massage bars Whew! there was a lot um let me know what some of your favorite ones were but what i wanted to show you was the symphony number no. six massage bar gift my god this is one of the most stunning boxes I've ever seen and in here you get six little mini massage bars all different shapes and sizes decorated with gold leaf it is if you're wanting to give like a gift of like touch this is the one and um, you've got deep sleep true romance sex bomb termit latte lord of misrule and karma so a lot of them really are quite comforting smells you've got some floral scents in there as well but it looks like a box of chocolates, like a really bougie box of chocolates. It's super pretty. I don't know if every store is going to sell them. You can definitely get it online. I'll put the price here because I'm not too sure how much it is. But it's absolutely gorgeous if you if you maybe know maybe someone who's a massage uh, a masseuse in training and you want to get them like a little graduation present or if you know someone who's just really into having a massage um or you also want lots of massages from never giving them to them uh, my boyfriend alex um then maybe you can give the gift of massage that way i'm trying to work out you're going to get about three to five massages per bar when doing the longest routine so that's going to work out at you know uh, 30 uh, goes out of that box but it's stunning and obviously you can then keep that box for maybe putting other massage bars in as you're using them but i just wanted to share that with you because it's absolutely bloody gorgeous so yeah that is all of the massage bar collection please let me know which bars you're going to try have you tried a massage bar before um i know again sometimes it can seem a little bit intimidating trying something new um but they are really good fun and if you haven't um tried one before i would definitely recommend going into your local store and maybe asking for a little arm and hand demo because also if you're having a bit of a stressful day <laughs> why not get a free little arm and hand demo um, and and smelling some of the products because the best way to smell products when in a shop is to get it on the skin because if you don't go into lush a lot it can be a little bit overwhelming my top tips for keeping your massage bars for as long as possible is to store them somewhere cool and dry you can buy the oval tins but if you want to keep them in the paper bags that's kind of what i do i have loads of paper bags lying around that's fab but just keep them somewhere out of the way of the sun and not next to a radiator um, they did a massage bar with dusting powder in a few years ago for Christmas and I left it on the windowsill when I went to work and when I came home there was just a pile of melt <laughs> just all melted so just make sure that you just keep it somewhere cool and dry essentially because it will melt with heat uh, but yes if you like this video give it a little thumbs up and if you really like and if you really liked it you can subscribe we're on our way to 3500 at the end of the month i'm going to be doing my giveaway so keep an eye out for that i do have another cool video coming up so keep an eye out for that one it's something really exciting i've kind of sneakily touched on some of it um so keep an eye out yes uh you can follow me on social media somewhere around on this screen youtube is going to recommend some videos at the end if you want to stay around and watch them you can also ring the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos but uh, thank you so much for sitting through this very long video um I, oh that's a question I want to ask what when I have these long videos 
what 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 are you doing when you're listening to them? Are you putting on makeup, doing housework, doing cooking? Let me know because I do when I listen to videos. I'm normally putting on makeup or doing the dinner. So I would love to know how you watch my videos. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see you next video. Bye.